A Venturi filling system and an air compressor allows you to perform a complete coolant fill without any air pockets. Here's how to do it. Remove the cap on the engine coolant reservoir before attempting to drain the coolant from the radiator. It is a good idea to hook a hose to the petcock to prevent making a mess. Place the hose into a large drain pan or place a drain pan under the petcock. Twist the knob counterclockwise to start draining the coolant. Let the coolant drain completely before attempting the next step. Turn the vehicle to the on position and turn the heat on to open the heater coils, which will help you get more coolant to drain. An optional step to try to purge additional coolant out is to insert one of the rubber fittings into the reservoir and use our air hose to push the remaining coolant out. Make sure there is a tight seal and the air compressor is set to a low PSI so you won't damage the system. Around 10 PSI should work well. Once you have the coolant drained, close the petcock or replace the lower radiator hose. Before attempting to connect the vacuum refill, make sure you have the right size rubber fitting to connect to the reservoir on your vehicle. It should be snug enough to allow the vacuum to take effect. Some reservoirs will have an overflow hole. This will need to be sealed by the fitting for the vacuum to work. Insert the Venturi assembly into the reservoir and twist the knob clockwise. This will lock it into place. Attach the vacuum hose fitting to the Venturi assembly. Some coolant may drip out of the hose during this process. Make sure it is directed toward the outside of the vehicle. Turn the valve perpendicular to the fitting to make sure it is off before attaching the air compressor hose. Connect the air compressor hose to the fitting. Open the valve. This will create the Venturi effect and remove the air from the cooling system. The dial on the Venturi assembly will start to rise, indicating the pressure of the vacuum. This will cause some of the hoses on the car to collapse. This is normal. Turn the valve off when the pressure is around 25 PSI and then wait for a minute or two. The needle should not move. If you notice it is losing pressure, it means you may have a leak somewhere in the cooling system or the Venturi assembly does not have a good seal to the reservoir. Once you are satisfied that the system is holding pressure, remove the air hose and then the vacuum fitting. We recommend mixing 50% coolant and 50% distilled water in a large bucket to allow for easier filling. If you have pre-mixed coolant, simply transfer it to a larger container. Check your owner's manual for the amount of coolant it will take to fill your vehicle. Attach the fitting for the filling. Make sure the valve is perpendicular to the hose to ensure that it is closed. Then, insert the hose into the bucket of coolant. Open both valves. The vacuum will then suck the coolant from the bucket and start to fill the system. Make sure the hose stays submerged in the coolant as this will prevent any unwanted air from entering the system. If the coolant is running out in the bucket before it is filled, simply close the valve and add more coolant to the bucket and then reopen the valve to continue the fill. As it fills, the PSI on the gauge will begin to drop. When the needle reads zero, the system should be full. Once the system is full, you can close both of the valves. Disconnect the fitting and be sure to leave the hose in the bucket. Once disconnected, open the valve on the hose to drain the excess coolant out of the hose. Twist the ring counterclockwise and remove the Venturi assembly. If necessary, top the reservoir off so the coolant is between the maximum and minimum lines on the side of the reservoir. Replace the cap. Make sure to keep an eye on your coolant levels for the next few days to ensure the cooling system is at the proper level, and add coolant if it is low.